free phone number 0800 840 1088. Our cruise consultants are there to advise, to help, and uh, say up until 10 o'clock tonight, aren't they? 10 o'clock tonight, and yeah. And first thing tomorrow morning. But for those cruises, uh, like the first one, if you book before Thursday, you're going to get all of the extras, the drinks package, the onboard spend. Now, I was on this, uh, this exact ship, say, in May of this year, and I had an amazing time. Let's take you on board. Yeah, so celebrity, five-star American cruise line. Again, part of the Royal Caribbean and Azamara family. And as I'm sure you, you know, you're going to say, Sean, a fantastic, chic, stylish, laid-back, relaxed uh, experience. Honestly, five-star modern luxury. Um, mm. I, I couldn't fault the cruise. And I have been on 20 cruises. This was my 20th cruise. Keith, everything was perfect from the service, the food, the entertainment, but I love the feel and the surroundings. It is. Ship. Well, it is very chic. It's very sophisticated. Yes. But you mentioned the food. They do focus on their food, you know, right the way through to even even the buffets on the open deck where they have the, you know, the health food food program where they have things, uh, you know, sustainably and locally sourced. They actually have a, a restaurant on board, the USS United States, which is going for its first ever Michelin star. That is unique in the industry. That shows you how high they set their standards with food with celebrity. And again, this ship is new. 2010 it was launched. So Everything's still spangly and bright and nice. And you've got such a great selection. You can go for cuisine where you can oh, play yeah, there with your go. food. There we are. iPad menus, sushi lollipops. Uh, you get the Rydell rolling crystal glasses. And if you go on to things like Cruise Critic and look at the awards, this got best overall for cabins, dining, embarkation, public rooms, fitness, shore excursions and value and, uh, in the uh, last ship category. Well, I was on board the ship. I think there were about 400, uh, at least 400 viewers of the show that, I, that, that were on board the ship. And honestly, everyone was so impressed. Well, it, really it, it's incredible and again it's great for bargains as well because you've got the celebrity eye lounge on board and because of the, the strength of the, the, the pound against the dollar you can go on there and you can buy you know yourself an iPad or something like yeah. that and you can get it at next to nothing and if you book before this Thursday you'll get the free classics drinks package we'll talk about it because it's a really great drinks package it actually. is I do know it very well and they are yeah. <laughs> free. and you get the onboard spend you do dollars on board spend actually, as well. I'm not just saying it was actually really quite hard to, to, to spend that $200 because all your drinks are included mm. um, you know, we, we, we're giving you money towards tips as well, well so it's massages isn't it, it yeah. like it's pampering it's extra money to go and pamper yourself or, or get something in the shop yeah. you know absolutely acupuncture <laughs> um, and, it was and, and our advice, you get in an ocean view for 899 but for 100 pounds more, you can even have a balcony as well, mm. and you'll see oh, the best of the world. You want a balcony, don't you? Yeah, yeah, do, you really, the really views do. are spectacular. Anyway, should we have a look? Yeah. Let's so, go. Uh, first of all, straight from Southampton, which means an easy start. You can take as much luggage as you like. There's probably an opportunity to set the Me and Valley at uh, the Me and Valley, me and Valley right? before. And <laughs> our ongoing half price deal, which gives you the, the parking and, and the free transfers and takes the stress out of your arrival to Southampton. And look at this. You're after a day at sea enjoying that wonderful ship, you arrive in Bergen. And this is, cra this is a cracking place. This is, uh, was recently voted uh, the most popular uh, Norwegian cruise port. Um, and many, many reasons for this, of course. It's got a wealth of different things to do, including the ancient funicular, which will take you up uh, to Mount Floyd, which gives you amazing views yeah, I did and that. a chance to walk down. I remember you yeah. said, and, and it is a great thing to do. This is the Hanse 8 Wolf. It's, it's UNESCO protected, all the brightly coloured wooden houses with the tall peat roofs. It's incredible. It's a, a lovely, charming place to wander around. And then behind there, as you walk back down from Mount Floyd, you've got a wonderful fish market. And that's a great place to go and, and eat. Go and get yourself some, some nice, tasty fish. But you can see um, the, the there the you go, the back, going yeah. up at the back. And the big thing to do here, try and get yourself um, a Skillings Bowl cinnamon roll. Oh, Honestly, it's a local delicacy, and you will you will be in heaven. I missed out on that when I was there, Keith. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, where next? In Allison is next, uh, and this is a place that was rebuilt in 1905, following a big fire, and it rebuilt uh, the whole place in a wonderful Art Nouveau style. And therefore, the whole the whole town itself is wonderful just to walk around and explore. It's also got an Art Nouveau uh, museum if you want to go and do that. But it's a medley of turrets and spires and ornamental twists. It gives it a, a fairy tale feel. Now, I love um, the Petty Train, which takes you up Mount Axler for great views, and you can head out on the famous Trollstigen Road over stone bridges and hairpin bends to a troll wall. 6,000 foot vertical drop, one of the best uh, roads in the world, without I, a doubt. I, I really enjoyed it though, actually. I love that. I love this whole cruise. Where's next, though, okay? Keith? Uh, well, Galanga is next. This is one of the two, only two UNESCO protected status fjords uh, in the whole of Norway, and it is stunning. And get, Keith, you know, I, you know we, I'd seen these pictures on the show, like our viewers are seeing right now. You can't appreciate it. No, can't in no. real life, they, they were even more spectacular. Because you're sailing through that. Yeah. You're and it's sailing, so deep. You can see the ship. You can see the ship in yeah, the photo there. That, so you get an idea of how small you feel with these mountains, the waterfalls, the seven sisters. I mean, you must have seen those, Sean. You almost feel like you can reach out and touch them as you walk through. And then in Giranga, all you want to do is literally sit 
on the ship and look at what's around you. I mean, if you want to do more than that, then, then get off and do a little bit of climbing. You can go and do loads of different adventure sports. Um, and the great thing is you're getting an ocean view, so you'll see all of this. Exactly. Yeah. And, and there's normally commentaries as well when you're sailing cruise, you'll hear a little bit about the local history. Um, but look at that. That's the Seven Sisters. And opposite that is the Suta Waterfall, which is uh, trying endlessly to charm it un un unsuccessfully. Um, then we're going to go across from Garanga to Stavanger. And this is a wonderful little port. Uh, I know I recommend it to you, uh, Sean, here to go to the Norwegian Canning Museum. You, you, you thought I was joking, but actually, um, you, had, you had absolutely corking time. That was, the, that was one of the several museums that you can do. do you, know, I, you told me about that, and I was really sceptical, but I, I loved it. It was, exactly. Yeah. Well, we're now in, oh, so we're still, the picture's there saying Galanga, but we've moved, we've moved on to Stavanger. So Stavanger, let's so, see, so, so here we go. So you're just going to see some pictures there of Stavanger. Now, it is a fantastic little place full of, full of little quirky museums and these oldie wooden houses where you'll see artists hard at work in their studios. And there's also a wonderful old church called the, the Stavanger Domkirk, which is one of Norway's most beautiful medieval creations. You're seeing here the wooden kind of yeah, seafront area. I remember area. all of that. This is the Troll's yeah, Tongue. Yeah, I didn't get to do that. Well, it's worth doing, but it does take half a day. So if you want to do that, there's the Troll's Tongue, there's Pulpit Rock, there's a couple of them, but you can sit like that man did on there. It takes a couple of hours to trek up there, but it is worth it. And if you are fit uh, and you want to give it a go, then do it. If you're not so fit, you can just do the cruise down and back. Incredible. Uh, uh, yeah. And That's remember, um, if you book tonight or before the 31st, not only are you going to see this beautiful itinerary, you're going to be on board this stunning ship. And I really want to show you the Eclipse just one final time because she is one of the most beautiful ships that I've ever been on. She is immaculate, five-star modern luxury. And... You know, even when, you, you know, when you're on the upper decks, there's, even, I mean, there's, there's a real lawn, real glass, beautiful entertainment up there. And it's lovely just to sit and maybe have a drink and just relax, taking all of those wonderful views. Um, there's a, an undercover pool as well, so it's a little bit chilly at you know, certain times of the day. You've got the undercover pool, you've got the hot glass show, of course, as well. Great shopping, beautiful food. You're going to get the drinks package tonight as well, so, and it's a really great drinks package, the classic one, with a great section of wine and spirits, of course, and your soft drinks as well. And the entertainment, that made it for me. Now, for £100 more, I want to show you, this is the room that I have. It's a balcony stateroom, and you, with that balcony stateroom, you're going to see everything, every single one of those fjords. You're going to really, really enhance your experience, and we have got a price of just 9 99 for the balcony. I know we're going to be very, very busy tonight, so this offer, sadly, has to come to an end this Thursday. So just to recap, you are getting the free classic drinks package. You're getting $200 on board spend, and we will even give you £50 off your tips as well. Final chance to book to get this, say, you need to book by the 31st of July. That's this Thursday. And by the way, Southampton, if, you, you know, if that's not close to you, we can even arrange flights to Southampton from all over the UK. Just ask uh, for details of those as well. Now, I did this. Um, if you want to add a few excursions uh, to your cruise experience, we can actually arrange those for you. You can do them directly through Planet Cruise. And not only will they be really well organised, but you can save up to 60% compared to what you'd be paying on board. And you're guaranteeing as well that you're not going to lose out because obviously on your first day on board, it's very busy. You're going to the port showcase, you're queuing up to get those excursions. Yeah. Take the stress out of it. Have your first day as a cocktail day, as a relaxing pamper day. Do it beforehand. Do you know, I am, um, and I'm not just saying this, I love that cruise so much. I'm actually thinking of, of booking it again and taking some, well, some friends of mine. You need to. I mean, I spent about, I spent about four months of my life cruising in Norway, or at least, and uh, I don't get bored of it. No. So, you know. The weird thing is, you've described it to me so many times, and yet it was even better than yeah. 